is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to use some leftover paint using the Sargent Art Pouring Medium. And so this was the Sargent Art Pouring Medium um, and we've got two cups here. They probably have about five or six ounces of paint in them. That's a rough, rough estimate. Um, so I'm going to get some gloves on. I think I want to stick with our tree ring and flip cup. And then I think I want to do the bubble wrap reverse dip with them. Um, I think I like how those have worked out on the tile so far. So I want to see how it'll work out on the canvas. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I don't know which one I want to use for which. So I think I'll do the flip cup here. This one has a little bit less paint. It is still pretty fluid. It doesn't seem that it like thickened very much. These are so cool. You can see like the sides and stuff. So I'll let that do its thing and then if I have extra from our tree ring then I can pour it around the edges. So I'll go ahead and do the tree ring and tilt it so I'll know if I have enough or not. And then I can use the extra. Very blue and green. Make sure I have enough here. Go extra drippy. pretty. I hope it dries this vibrant. This is gorgeous. I'm going to go this way first just because this is the side that has a lot of the black and not a lot of contrast. Come back to grab this last corner and then move it back until I like it. All right, I love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> and then we'll just add this around the edge or below, although I'm not actually that worried about it at this point. Apparently I have a fly, so you may see that in the camera. Gosh, that's gorgeous too. All right, I'm gonna, did I get a drip over here? Gosh dang it, oh well. We'll be doing the bubble wrap anyway, so it'll get a little mixedy, mixed up anyways. Whoa, I don't know how that did that design, but it is cool. I'll try to zoom you in. I don't actually know exactly where I am here really awesome. Definitely a little bit more uh, colors here. This one got the yellows and the whites. Let's start on this black corner and run it off. This is fun. I like it. Get all the sides. All right, there we go. Bring this one back over. Make sure I got all their sides. Part of me doesn't want to do it on this one because I love it so much, but I'm very hopeful that this will work. So I am going to get this set up for the bubble wrap and we'll be right back. We are back. I've got two sheets of bubble wrap. I think I'll do this one first. I'm just gonna gently lay it down. These are like 12 by 12 squares. And I don't really want it to get any more than just on the tip of the bubble, I guess. I don't want it to squeeze in between where the bubbles kind of meet. It's hard to tell what's going on, but I want to make sure at least little tops are touching everywhere. Okay, 
we're gonna risk it and see what happens and if I did it right then we'll know and if I didn't then oh that is so cool oh my gosh aside from this middle where I kind of like met that is absolutely exactly what I was looking for in this um, it also could be there just wasn't a lot of contrast here just like there where you can see where all this red was hiding underneath and it picked it up it may have got a little bit too smushed right here you'll see that in the close-up but absolutely awesome <laughs> okay now we'll do this one and just gonna touch it by the corners Don't want to accidentally swipe it. There, okay, hold it like this. Oh, all right, got it. <laughs> I'm just very gently making sure the little tops of the bubbles are touching the paint. But not smushing too hard to where it gets in between. Moment of truth. I'm gonna take it all from one side to the other so I don't get that middle. That is so awesome. Ah, oh, it's Trippy. It's also what I call my dog because her name is Trip, or one of them. <laughs> but this would be so much fun. I can definitely see myself doing more of this in the future. I am not going to torch it. I don't think it'll do any good anyways, but in case there was a bubble, I don't want to pop it because I want to keep the look of this. And I will bring you in for a close up. Okay, here we are for the close-up. Um, might try turning this light off. Because there's a lot of glare because of the... The unevenness of the paint. Um, a lot of glare. Now this one's been sitting for a little bit. So it's kind of like leveling out, which means it's the... The pattern's kind of not fading away, but fading into the painting. But you can definitely still see, look how awesome this corner is. There's a lot of contrast here, so that really helps. But you can definitely see how this is going to turn out here. I don't know if I actually like the black in there. It looks really fuzzy when it fades back in. And then this spot, just not a lot of contrast there. But overall, super cool. And then here's the second one we did, so there's less time for it to fade back in. So we'll start up here. It looks like that might be a little bubble in the upper corner there. But once again, this pattern is just gorgeous. From the tree ring lines, which really helps with the contrast issue, as long as you use contrasting colors in your tree ring. And then the pattern that it creates when you do the bubble wrap um, reverse dip it creates this really cool um, like a whole bunch of little tiny balloon smashes that's the best way I can kind of word it there but I love it so here is the final product on both of them kind of hard to do with all the glare from the light um, but whenever I post this video if you check out my Instagram page I'll make sure I post a picture of these dry um, so you can see how they dried over there as well so go check that out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I would be happy to read them and answer them. Let me know what you think about this. I'm absolutely thrilled, so I hope you guys are as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.